guys welcome to Audrey's reading area welcome welcome so you guys today is educational Tuesday so I have a fun book that I'll be reading to you it's no pictures in it but it's educational and it is still Black History Month so African American answer book so we have like facts and trivia I'm going to give you the question and then I'm going to give you the answer. We're shaking it up a little bit today, doing things just a little, little different. But first, click like, click share, like share my video, please, you guys. Share my video, then go on over to YouTube. Smack, smack, smash, punch that subscribe button. Please subscribe. Audrey's Reading Area on YouTube. Alexa, what time is it? It's 8.07 p.m. Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? A little late. Audrey reads in her area live at 8 o'clock p.m. V-E. Live at 8, you guys, and here I am. Here I am. So be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. Yes, got some fun facts for you guys. I'm not going to read everything because it's got a lot of facts in there. But I'll just read some interesting things in here, and I'll find the answer. So, true or false, the Memphis to Jackson March gave birth to the phrase black power. Hmm, is that true or false? Hmm, hmm, well, it's true. That's how we got the words or the phrase black power. The Memphis to Jackson March, black power. Did you know that? Did you know that that's where black power came from and now you know okay let's get some more fun facts what was Malcolm X's real name Malcolm X what was his real name hmm so is it Malcolm Jackson Malcolm Robinson or Malcolm Little those are your choices hmm if you said C Malcolm Little you got this right Good job, good job. So, true or false? Madam C.J. Walker was a pioneer in the study of new navigation procedures for tracking space missions. Is that true or false, you guys? Hmm, hmm. Well, guess what? Number 20, it is false. It was Katherine Johnson. Yes, Madam C.J. Walker was not a pioneer in the study of new navigation procedures for tracking space missions. It was Katherine Johnson. All right, if you got that right, all right, you guys are smart. You guys are smart anyway, right? So, true or false, the title of the Black an National Anthem is Lift Every Voice and Sing. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Yeah, ring with the harmonies of liberty. It's true, you guys. You got it. It is true. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Some more, some more, some more questions. Slave traders, you know, back in the days, referred to their slave captives as A, black gold, B, black cargoes, or C, black ivory. Hmm. Slave traders referred to their slave captives as A, black gold, B, black cargoes, or C, black ivory and the answer is black ivory mm -hmm. black ivory okie dokie let's see true or false um many slave ships took as long as eight months to sail from the african coast to america true or false you guys Yep, you were right. It's true. It took about almost eight, eight months to travel. Yes. 
from Africa to America. So the African coast to America, that is. While being transported from Africa to America, slaves were fed a diet of what? A, rice and water, B, meat and coffee, or C, fish scraps. Hmm. Can you guess? Rice and water. That's all they were that's all they were given to eat. Rice and water. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Black nationalism was revived in the movement of what? Or should I say who? The choices are A. Marcus Garvey, B. Martin Luther King Jr., or C. W. E. B. Du Bois, or Du Bois. The question again, black nationalism was revived in the movement of, guess the answer. Yes, the answer is, and the answer is Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey. Wow, I, can, I wish I was there with you guys. We would be, I'd be giving out gifts and stuff for all these correct answers that you guys are giving. Good job, good job, good job. So, hmm, let's see, let's see. Let me turn the page. Ah, I like, does anybody know who this lady is? Yes, this is Shirley Chisholm. First, first black woman elected to Congress. Shirley Chisholm steadfastly pushed for the rights of minorities and women and broke new ground as a candidate for the 1972 Democratic presidential nomination. She ran for president in 1972. Can you imagine? And I actually met her. She had, she had come to my church, Linden. Yeah. And I met her. When she came to my church. Yes. Oh, yeah. Kwanzaa is a Kwanzaa question. You guys know it's an African-American answer book, trivia and facts. So Kwanzaa is served from A, January 1st to January 6th. B, June 26th to July 1st. Or C, December 26th to January 1st. When is Kwanzaa observed? You guys, I know, you guys are so smart. You got it. See, December 26th to January 1st. Good job, you guys. Good job. Hmm. Mae Jemison became the first African-American woman who did what, okay? A, elected to the U.S. Senate. Senate. Uh, la, 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 la. B, astronaut in space. Or C, to win three Olympic gold medals. What do you guys think? I already know the answer to this. Yes, Mae Jameson became the first African-American woman astronaut in space. Answer is B. Good job, good job. Yes, women, 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 we do it too. What is the name of the first black Greek fraternity? The first black Greek fraternity. Hmm? This is the book I'm reading from. First black Greek fraternity. A, Kappa Alpha Psi. B, Sigma uh, Pi Phi. Or C, Alpha Phi Alpha. Hmm. Hmm. Alpha, answer. Alpha Phi Alpha. Let's see. C. Good job, you guys. Good job. Let's see. Some more questions. Hmm. Who was the first African American to attend the U.S. Naval Academy? Wow, that's big. The choices are A, Henry Conyers, B, Samuel Gravely, or C, Richard Williams. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, you got it. Henry Conyers. Henry Conyers, that was A. Good job, you guys. 
Let's see. Hmm. Who served on the board of the directors, board of directors of the NAACP for 36 years? 36 years. A, Ralph Bunch, B, Carl J. Murphy, or C, Ralph Abernathy? Do 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 Yes, so the answer is answer is B call J Murphy. Good job, you guys. Hmm. Bernard Shaw is the chief Washington correspondent for what major television station? A CNN? B, NBC, or C, ESPN. Hmm. Can you guess? Can you guess? Yep. CNN. CNN. Nice. Now, I'm not sure how old this book is. I don't see any dates. Let's see. It's, it might be outdated. So, hmm. Published. 1995? No way. It can't be that old. 1995. So all of these answers, just know all of these answers are from like 1995. That's when this book was published. So things may have changed by then. Okay. So let us keep answering these questions. So... What famous African American is a political activist and a comedian? A. Eddie Murphy. B. Dick Gregory. Or C. Bill Cosby. Hmm. Hmm. Are you putting on your thinking caps? Putting on those thinking caps? Let's find the answer. Dick. Gregory, and I knew that. I don't even know why I looked it up. Dick Gregory, that's right. Let me read to you about this guy right here. This guy right here. His name is Thurgood Marshall, an accomplished lawyer, judge, and civil rights leader. Thurgood Marshall was the first African American to serve on the United States Supreme Court. Wow. Wow, how interesting is that? Wow. Okay, guys, we're both learning here, right? Reading is fundamental. Reading is everything. Okay, okay, let's, let's get some more questions. Only a couple more left. Martin Luther King Jr. wrote how many books? Okay, how many books did Martin Luther King Jr. write? A is one, B is three, or C is five. Hmm. Hmm. Do you guys know how many books Martin Luther King Jr., Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. wrote? And the answer is C, five. He wrote five books. Five books. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this, you guys? Who is this? You should know. Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks. Let's read about who Rosa Parks is or was. By refusing to move from a whites only seat on a Montgomery, Alabama bus in 1955, Rosa Parks ignited a citywide bus boycott that turned, that in turn sparked the entire civil rights movement. She did that. She did that. Rosa Parks did that. You see? Rosa Parks. Yep. Let's see. Let's see. Um, who owns a publishing company, a cosmetic line, and a TV showcase? A. John H. Johnson. B, Earl Graves, or C, Reginald Lewis. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Are you thinking about it? Hmm. John H. Johnson, you guys. The answer was A. Good job. Good job for those of you that got it. Hmm. So, let's see, let's see. I am, give me one second, I don't want my battery to die on you guys. Well, all right, I'm good now. So, what African country has the largest population? Good question, good question. What African country has the largest population? A, Nigeria, B, Uganda, or C, Tanzania, Tanzania. Can you think? Can you think about it? Hmm. Hmm. You got it, you guys. If you said A, Nigeria, you got it. Here are some other questions. You can uh, look up, look them up, look them up. Hmm. Black History Month is celebrating doing what month, you guys? Black History Month is celebrated during what month? <laughs> yes. Okay. A, January, B, February, or C, September? You guys already know it's February, so you already know. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. What was Madam C.J. Walker's real name? A, Alice Walker, B, Sarah Breedlove Walker, or C, Maggie Lena Walker. Which one was her fur, her real name? Her real name. Hmm. Yeah. B, Sarah Breedlove Walker. That was her real name. Madam C.J. Walker. That was her real name. Hmm. In 1960, what did four African-American students do at a whites-only lunch counter to protest discrimination? A, they rioted, B, they stayed to sit in, or C, boycotted the lunch counter. Which one did they do? Hmm. Which one? Let's see. They staged a sit-in. B, they staged a sit-in. Mm. So I got some more questions. The flag representing the black struggle for freedom is comprised of what three colors? I'm going to read that again. The flag representing the black struggle for freedom is comprised of what three colors? What three colors, you guys? A, red, white, and blue. B, black, yellow, and green. Or C, red, black, and green. I already know the answer to this, but I'm going to look it up anyway. Yes. Which one is it, you guys? Hmm. Red, black, and green. They say the red's for the blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black's for the skin. The green is, yeah, for the land. That's what they say. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> well, I'm going to just read a couple more. Um, the term jumping the broom. So when people get married and they jump the broom, the term jumping the broom refers to what? Oh, I, I might have, um, I may have gave that one away. <laughs> A, wedding ceremony, <laughs> B, freedom from slavery, or C, childbirth. <laughs> Which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? Let's see. They got this from, hmm, you already know, a wedding ceremony. A, a wedding ceremony. I gave that away, didn't I? Okay, I have another question. Bill Cosby created what cartoon characters? A, Herb and Jamal. B, Luther. 
or C, Fat Albert. I don't have to look this one up. I already know because I used to watch it all the time. Fat Albert, C, Fat Albert. Well, this was fun. This was fun. I'm not going to read any more tonight, but I will another time. Thank you for being here. Thanks for all your love and support. Tony Kulcha, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. All your love and support. Thanks, Mom, for always being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Victoria. And thank you, Ellie, for sharing my videos. Hey, Tony, please, please share my video. Then go to YouTube, look for Audrey's Reading Area, and smash that subscribe button for me. Punch that subscribe button. Click it. Yes. Yes. Just subscribe, please. Tell everybody to listen to Audrey's Reading Area as I read books to you and your kids. Yes, and they will enjoy. I will see you again tomorrow, right? Live, L-I-V-E. Live at eight, you guys, live at eight. Thanks for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll see ya tomorrow. It's only one day away. <laughs> live, L-I-V-E, live at eight. See you soon. Here on Audrey's Reading Area, YouTube.